Outer space is vast and infinite, and it continues to hold countless mysteries that remain beyond our comprehension. It stretches endlessly in every direction, filled with galaxies, cosmic phenomena, and forces that defy the limits of human understanding. Despite our technological advancements, we have barely begun to scratch the surface of its secrets, and each new discovery reminds us of how little we know about the universe that surrounds us. In today's episode, we'll look into another five of these mysteries from space. First, we visit the ancient Battle of the Eclipse, where a sudden solar event changed the course of war and history. Then we go to China to the Baijifeng Crater, believed to be Earth's first mountaintop impact crater. We'll explore the mysterious meteorite that fell in Sylacauga, Alabama, the still unexplained wow signal, and finally, the perplexing great attractor. Welcome back to Fireside Unsolved, Episode 134, Five Mysterious Celestial Events, Part 3. The Battle of the Eclipse, also called the Battle of Halys, occurred in the early 6th century BCE in Anatolia, which is now modern-day Turkey, between the Medes and the Lydians. According to the ancient historian Herodotus, the battle was interrupted when day turned into night, likely due to a solar eclipse. This sudden darkness led both sides to pause fighting and negotiate a peace treaty. The war began when Alyates, king of Lydia, refused to release people that were begging for their freedom leading Siaxares, king of the Medes, to demand their return. The resulting conflict lasted five years, with notable victories on both sides. Herodotus describes how in the sixth year of the war, the Medes and Lydians were locked in a stalemate when the day unexpectedly darkened, prompting both armies to cease combat, which led to a ceasefire and peace negotiations. Also found in his writings, Herodotus credits the philosopher Thales of Miletus with correctly predicting the eclipse. While the exact time, date, and location of the battle is not mentioned in texts, astronomical calculations link this eclipse with the eclipse of Thales, which occurred on May 28, 585 BCE, providing an exact date for the battle. The eclipse of Thales is known as the earliest recorded eclipse with a predicted date, named after the philosopher Thales. However, some scholars dispute this. They argue that Thales may not have had the necessary astronomical knowledge to predict the eclipse, and the eclipse occurred close to sunset, an unusual time for battles. An alternative theory suggests the event was a lunar eclipse at dusk, which may have shocked the combatants. If correct, the battle may have occurred on either September 3rd, 609 BCE, or even earlier on July 4th, 587 BCE, when lunar eclipses happened, both at dusk. Baijifeng Mountain, a formation composed largely of sandstone and traces of granite, was forged over 500 million years ago in a prehistoric shallow sea. Over millions of years, tectonic forces tilted and folded these sedimentary layers into a rugged mountain chain. But something extraordinary happened here. A gap, nearly 4,600 feet wide, now separates the twin peaks of Baijifeng, a huge chasm littered with sharp-edged sandstone fragments. However, this unassuming mark on the landscape is more than it appears. It's believed to be Earth's first confirmed mountaintop impact crater. Located between the twin peaks of Front Baijifeng and Rear Baijifeng, this mysterious site marks where an ancient celestial object struck with unimaginable force, splitting the mountaintop into two summits. Scattered across the area are fragments of shattered rock, known as celestial stone, etched with shock patterns that tell the story of a collision with an object from space. When researchers analyzed samples from the site, they uncovered compelling evidence buried in the mountain's bedrock. Among the sandstone fragments were quartz minerals, formed only under conditions of extreme heat and pressure, such as those caused by the violent arrival of an asteroid or meteorite. Under the microscope, thin slices of these rocks revealed the unmistakable hallmarks of shock metamorphism. Crystal structures fractured into straight, rupture-like patterns caused by the shock waves of a violent impact. Even more compelling were the ejected rock fragments scattered across the mountaintop, their jagged edges and unweathered surfaces preserved on the mountain. But between the local folklore about the location 
and the absence of a concrete scientific explanation and consensus, it has led some to wonder what actually happened on the mountain and when it happened. While some estimates place the event as occurring as recently as only 20,000 years ago, others believe it could be hundreds of thousands of years in the past. The precise age ultimately remains uncertain. On November 30, 1954, Ann Hodges of Sylacauga, Alabama, became the only person ever known to be injured by a meteorite. At 2.46 p.m., an eight-and-a-half-pound meteorite, over four-and-a-half billion years old, hurtled through the sky, smashing through the roof of her home. It struck her radio console, bounced off her, and hit her left side, leaving a large bruise. Eyewitnesses saw a fiery, reddish light streak across the sky, some comparing it to a Roman candle. While meteorites are not rare, most are small and burn up upon entry, making this event unique. Authorities initially thought a plane had crashed due to the dramatic light, but Anne and her mother were puzzled by the unusual event. After discovering the rock on the floor and Anne's bruise, they called the authorities. Soon, emergency vehicles arrived, and the story spread. Anne's husband, Eugene, came home to find their home surrounded by onlookers. Anne jokingly told the Associated Press, We had a little excitement around here today. The U.S. Air Force quickly took possession of the meteorite to confirm its origins. Despite the meteorite's identification, a legal dispute arose over ownership. Anne believed the rock was meant for her, and after a settlement she kept it for $500, which would be close to $6,000 in 2025. The family then proceeded to use the meteorite as a doorstop before donating it to the Alabama Museum of Natural History. The WOW signal is one of the most captivating and mysterious occurrences in the search for extraterrestrial life. Detected on August 15, 1977, by astronomer Jerry Eamon at the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University, the signal lasted for 72 seconds and came from the constellation Sagittarius. It was unlike any other radio signals observed at the time, as it was a narrow-band transmission, which typically indicates a man-made source. Eamon was so astounded by its strength and uniqueness that he circled the reading on the printout and wrote, Wow! A label that has since stuck. The signal's specific origin is still unknown. The frequency of 1420 megahertz, a wavelength associated with the hydrogen atom, has led many to speculate that it could be a message from extraterrestrial intelligence, as hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. Despite numerous attempts to detect the signal again, including extensive follow-up observations at various radio telescopes, the WOW signal has never been observed again. Several theories have been proposed to explain the phenomenon, including natural sources like interstellar gas clouds, or even more speculative ideas such as transmissions from satellites or space debris reflecting radio signals. However, none of these explanations fully account for the signal's intensity, duration, or frequency. The WOW signal remains one of the few unexplained events in the search for extraterrestrial life, providing a tantalizing glimpse of the possibilities that may exist beyond Earth. The Great Attractor is a mysterious cosmic anomaly located within the Laniakea supercluster, the vast galaxy group that includes the Milky Way. This gravitational anomaly exerts a powerful force, drawing galaxies, including our own, toward it at a rate of about 600 kilometers, or 372 miles per second. The exact nature of the Great Attractor remains largely unknown, primarily due to its location behind the Milky Way's galactic plane, obscuring our view. Initially identified in the 1970s through peculiar velocity studies, the anomaly became an area of intense research as it became clear that galaxies in our vicinity were moving unusually fast toward it. The Great Attractor's gravitational pull disrupts the expected movement of galaxies, creating peculiar velocities that are difficult to explain by the general expansion of the universe alone. It's as if this region of space is hiding an immense concentration of mass, However, its precise structure has proven difficult to detect, mainly because of the obscuring effects of the Milky Way's dense stars, gas, and dust. As a result, scientists can only hypothesize about what is causing this gravitational pull. One of the leading theories is that the Great Attractor could be an exceptionally dense region of space, 
containing a massive concentration of galaxies, dark matter, or even a supermassive black hole. This dense region might be the core of a vast unseen structure that is influencing galaxies across large distances. Some scientists propose that the Great Attractor could even be part of a larger cosmic structure, possibly linked to the Shapley supercluster, which lies beyond the Great Attractor. Future advancements in observational technology, like the James Webb Telescope, could potentially provide new insights and shed light on the true nature of this mysterious force. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Fireside Unsolved. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Until next time, take it easy and be easy, you filthy bastards.